Um, there is there is somebody I do want to mention though on the show. This was it was a fun weekend for me, by the way, Wyatt, because all the top <laughs> three quarterbacks that I root for that everyone else on this podcast hates, Justin <laughs> Herbert, Dak Prescott, and Gardner Minshew. Did it's pretty solid. <laughs> they did. I know. They I did. know why it hates all of them. I know Bart did not like Justin Herbert. I, I'm. I don't. I don't like Justin Herbert. Either. Wait, Lucas doesn't like him. I'm not with Herbert. I was not anyway, high on Gardner though. Yeah. So, so you think the way you get better, the way you get better at something is is by putting in reps, right? So, best the best athletes put in a bunch of reps. You want to lift heavier weights, you put in more reps. The best way to practice, Wyatt, you know this, isn't just doing a scrimmage. It's about getting your players reps. Gardner Minshew has the necessary reps to be such a great player. In college, at his last year at Washington State, he regularly threw 50 times in a game. Like, you think about how many times he's thrown, and his completion percentage in college was 70%. This year, obviously, he had the 95% in the first game. I think he's hovering around 70% right now, completion percentage. I, I just think, I mean, people people crap on Gardner Wyatt. I'm, I'm talking to you, kind of, <laughs> on Gardner Minshew. When they don't even watch him play. Like, they didn't watch him play in college because nobody watched the Pac-12, and they still don't watch him play in Jacksonville, and I'm so excited for people to finally get them to see him on primetime this Thursday. I, I, I'm booking it. He's going to throw three touchdowns, no picks, on Thursday. Yeah, I, okay. I've been very impressed with him wow. as well, and they put up a fight against the Titans, too, who are a very good team as well, who made, like, yeah. a deep playoff run last year. Um, I'm not willing to, like, coronate him as, like, a top, 10 QB, but I think he's an above average NFL QB at this point. Yeah, I, I think I don't I'm not gonna say he's a top ten quarterback QB today, but he is going to get there for sure. I mean I picked him as my dark. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he's gonna be number one by the end of the season. Yeah, he <laughs> he know, I'm, he he's getting be, right? he's getting better though. Like I, I watched the game, he's making so, so many good throws. His two, he had two interceptions, but one of them was off a of receiver's hands and the other one was was kind of wonky and just got tipped at the line by a lineman and he caught it. Like yeah. Wasn't Clowney offsides on that play anyway? I, I think. Oh, yeah. was he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he <laughs> wanted the interception at the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they scored thirty <laughs> points. The, you have to say Wyatt that the Jaguars' offense is doing something, even without Leonard Fournette. You know, they traded away. It seemed like they were tanking, according yeah. to you, and they traded away all their people. I mean, they I were. don't blame you for thinking that, but they scored thirty points. I, I okay. I, I'll be honest. I haven't watched a lick of Gardner Minshew this year. Um, I'll watch Thank him on Thursday Night Football. No, I'll be honest. I haven't, I haven't watched anything about him. Uh, I think that the Jaguars are such a terrible franchise that there's no way that Gardner Minshew, <laughs> uh, as good as he is, can sustain this level of success. And I oh, think yeah. that, that regardless, they're on a crash course for the number one overall pick. Um, they're fighting with the That's Jets right true. now. That's not true. They're fighting with the <laughs> no, oh, I don't think. They already have a win. <laughs> they're one yeah, and one. Yeah. They could lose. They could literally lose the next 15 games. The next 14 games. They could go one and 15. I mean, it's, a, it's the second week in the NFL, and they're a terrible franchise. So I think that – I don't the, think that's fair. I don't think that's fair either. And they're also what? not no. in a – they're, they're not in a good yeah, division. They're not in a good division. Yeah, they're not in a good division. Thank you, Lucas. They're, yeah, the, yeah, I mean, the Titans were good last year, but it's worth, <laughs> they weren't, like, impressively good. The yeah. Colts, like, behind, like, 38-year-old Phillip yeah. Rivers have not looked good. And Houston is a train wreck of an organization. Yeah, come so, on. So, like, I, like <laughs> I mean, like, nobody in that division is good except for maybe the Titans. Like – yeah. If they get hot, that's not a maybe. You think Anyways. you think it's just the Titans? You mean? Yeah, I think it's honestly just all the of the like yeah. Texans look <laughs> awful. Yeah, but okay, yeah. I don't think the Colts. I mean, what if if the Colts? I mean, granted, they just took out the Vikes, who are awful now. But I don't <laughs> think the Colts look bad this year per se. I don't think yeah. it's fair to. Yeah, well, they looked bad mm-hmm. because they played the Jags. Come on, exactly. they looked bad week <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't look good week uh, one. Also, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm excited for people to watch Minshew play on Thursday because I, yeah. I really think he's, he's pretty special. I really do. Unless you better he hope your boy shows up. Jerry. Yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah. gonna show up. <laughs> he's staying, you got a lot of riding on that. The Dolphins. Yeah. So he's, yeah. yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. yeah and <laughs> like the Dolphins just gave up 31 points last week. Why he's going? He's gonna go off. It's Minshew. What is, also, just what a weird Thursday night game that they put the Dolphins. I know. It is weird. That's a weird. I mean. Maybe they were hoping Tua would be out by then. I think they were hoping that Tua was going to yeah. be out there. Yeah. 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 But Fitzpatrick had a great game uh, this week, so yeah. maybe yeah. bounce back. You know what, Jerry, yeah. you know what, Bart? Thanks for bringing up Fitzpatrick because that's exactly what Gardner Minshew feels like because Ryan Shoot. Fitzpatrick oh started off last year with like four oh games with four touch, throwing touchdowns or something crazy like that. But Gardner um, Minshew isn't like 45 or like <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, yeah. I know. He's like not, he's still not, a young I'm not player. talking about them age-wise, like, but they remind me of a player who shows flashes and they're 
incredible for a short uh, short periods of time. But as far as like, because he had he had a really good amount of time last year, <clears throat> and they still stunk it up. So I mean, no, but he, no, he won six games like all on a really bad Jaguars and he lost team. 10. And I mentioned mm-hmm. this on the NFL on the MVP thing. He had more touchdowns and less interceptions than Kyler Murray, the rookie of the year, in less games, seventy less attempts. I'm tired of the hate, Wyatt. I'm re- I really am. <laughs> Gardner Minshew is. <laughs> I, I get, can't wait till this Thursday night so game, man. Gardner how Minshew much, is how good. How much is he paying you to say this? Exactly. <laughs> not paying, I, I just, I'm I, root for the, I root for the guys I like, and then, and I, I mean, I just know that I, I think Minshew is going to be great. So it's all just part of a conspiracy to get the Pac-12 more attention. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm driving the bandwagon. <laughs> also, speaking of the Jaguars, not that I think they're probably going to be great this year, but you know, their out of division games aren't like. They have some ones that they could win as well. Like yeah. the Dolphins aren't great, the Bengals aren't great, the Lions aren't great. The Bengals Char- are going to beat them. Oh mm, my gosh. We'll see. It'll be Chargers a aren't game, great. Sure. Yeah, like I like I could see them maybe eking out eight and eight this year. Mm. I'll say it. That's great. I, they're eight and eight for the book Cowboys. It? That's awesome. I'll book it. I'll book it. There let's see how far. Let's see how far eight and eight gets an the Cowboys. Eight and eight has yeah. never done anything for a franchise. 